strong show of support for a family reeling from tragedy. Dozens gathered together to raise money for the family of four-year-old Ava Castillo. She was shot and killed during a robbery last week. Her 10-year-old sister and mother were hurt. Brandon Walker is now at the benefit and joins us live. Brandon. Yeah, Dominique, you can see the volleyball tournament here at Wakefield Crowbar is wrapping up, but along with volleyball, there was also a cornhole tournament, also a silent auction, all to remember Ava Castillo and that money to go help her family. Many of the people who participated tonight did not know Ava, but still they say they didn't have to know her to be touched by her death. In the game of volleyball, Woo! competition is fierce, but tonight, even with all the muscle, the both teams are ready. Uh, We're ready. There's only one win that matters most. As a community, we wanted to be there for her and for the family. She is four-year-old Ava Castillo, killed last Monday during a robbery outside her family's apartment in North Houston. Tonight, we are throwing a benefit for the family. Ava's picture sat front and center on a table that was home to a silent auction in her honor. Randy Medor and his wife got the idea to put on the fundraiser. The money will help Ava's family cover costs. Whether we raise $200 or $2,000 or $10,000. You know, it's just exciting to be able to help others that are having hard times, I guess, or, or personal tragedies. She's the sweetest. Crystal Stolte was Ava's pre-K teacher. People are stepping up and trying to help out a family that they don't know. It's a great sense of community. And while those participating may have not known Ava. The family will be in our thoughts and our prayers. They didn't need to. Still, her story, her life lost, meant something. It really hit home for me and coming out here was a way to like make a small difference. Yeah, truly remarkable. Another note, the owners here tell me that they got the idea to do this Saturday, and so they turned to social media and got the ball rolling, and tonight is what you saw. At least 100 people here participating in the tournaments that took place. One more note for you. I was able to check in with Ava Castillo's family. They tell me that she will be laid to rest Saturday. We're live tonight in the Garden Oaks neighborhood of North Houston. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.